Hi everyone! So finally I have a chance to record the mostly requested video which is the study tips! I have no idea at the first place why you guys ask me for a study tips video because I suck myself to be honest. But yeah, but most of the requests are from high school. Yeah, from high school kids. Uh, I'm not sure if some of you are from co college or university, but I bet most of you are from high school. So I'll probably do more study tips on high school instead of in college, but maybe some you can use in college in or in UST because I swear to god it's way different when you study in high school and when you study in UST it's different but it's up to you so I don't want to waste your time I want to make this as short as possible and let's get started So there is, there are seven of them. <clears throat> um, yeah. So there, are, there are seven tips that I will be sharing with you. Um, so I hope it will give some benefits. So I don't want to waste any time. I want to make this as fast as possible. So if there's anything, just comment me down below to ask anything if you want to. So the first thing is to set your priorities and set your goals. For example, in high school, if you want to get a um, A for a certain subject, write it down anywhere that you can see every day, every single day, every single morning, every single time you walk past through or before you go to bed. I I do in my notebook, um, the front page of my notebook, for example, my planner. So this is my 2016 planner. So I'll be putting like, I'll write my goals in front, but I guess I didn't write anything yet for 2016, but I'll give you an example. For example, Lakan, I want to do a study things video, so I'll write down what to achieve in this video, what to do in this video. So you need to, to write down what you want to do to achieve in your study. For example, you want to get A's for um, your history subject, because I suck in history, <laughs> if you want to get... Uh, for uh, if you're in boarding school because I, I was in boarding school so I don't know how daily school works in boarding school my I I used to go in my MRSM so we used those CGPA kind of thing that pointer kind of thing in college and UST kids students will know so I'll write down like to achieve 3.5 above every semester I need to achieve 3.5 above every semester and which, which subject is I get more and the second is to organize your time I know we students we like to procrastinate we like to play around we like to do what we want to do but we don't like to study yes I'm lucky enough because I think God knows I am a very lazy person so I was sent into a boarding school and a boarding school set your times Alright, I don't know in daily life, maybe in daily life it's a little bit harder because you can, you are free to do whatever you want. But in boarding school, we have prep time, which um, we need to go to class. To study, or we have like a mental mentoring program, or we need to, um, that, those prep time are times when you study, for you to study on your own. So, um, before, our prep time was 3 to 5, and then 9 to 10, even though you make it 9 to 8 to 10, so those are the times. I can't study in the evening so you need to know when you are good in studying am I right? macam bila you boleh study in the yang lagi you boleh focus bila for me I tak boleh nak study in the evening because I mengantuk like hell I mengantuk I tidur I swear kalau siapa in my class they know I'll sleep in the evening except for the time if I need to 
finish up something or I am responsible to something so I won't be sleeping during my evening prep so I finish everything on the night time and the third thing is to acknowledge what you're good in I mean your study skills some people they need to do um, acronyms some people need to do songs some people draw some people practice it you need to acknowledge your skills because that's very important my skills are I need to draw or I need to see I, I, I'm not good in theory that's why I sucks in history and I don't, don't question me why I take medicine because medicine need to read also so don't question me why I think that's my rezeki here I'm trying to read as much as I could <laughs> and uh, yeah practicals and what you see drawings colors um yeah, acknowledge your own skills because everyone's skills is different that's why it's kind of hard to give you tips actually because it's on you it depends on you also and when you know your own skill you can create your own songs um like my sister she's been there in the studio so she creates stories to all those sister stuff or she creates songs i know from trying to draw everything and make very good mind maps so find out what you're good in that's very important so like what? maybe you talk to someone by talking and by sharing by discussing you can gain more that's why we have study groups but i'm not really good in study group because i prefer study individually um i do do study groups but not always i don't i just can't i tak boleh i just mind blown sebab ramai sangat orang pandai so i mind blown i really <laughs> jua okay so the fourth thing is to find motivating friends support system Find the right friends. Kalau you kawan dengan orang yang macam let's go lepak every time. So you memang go lepak every time lah. You don't ask me study tips lah. So it's it's simple. You need to find your own support system. The one who encourage you to study. To ask you to study. Who acknowledge your study process. And the fifth thing is use cute stuff. Cute stationeries or cute anything. Like me, I like to use cute things so that I'll be happy while writing notes or reading. Such as, let me give you some cute examples. My sticky notes, you can see here, my sticky notes. I know they are cute. Like you can use stickers, you can find that's a lot of good, cute, awesome notes notebooks nowadays. Like this one, a unicorn. <laughs> this one I bought from Typo, or like this. This. Actually, I'm showing off my notebooks which I don't even used yet. Or like this. This one I like this book because. They have sections here, so you can do like one topic for one section or one subject for one section. Yeah, and it's very nice. I bought this from Typo, and the best thing is, at the section they have a pocket. See, use cute notes like this. I mean, cute. thing is to repeat exam question. I think this is very useful especially during my high school days, during my SPM school days. So I have a quest. I someone asked me how I score in my SPM and stuff. To be honest, I'm a very lazy person but I revise a lot. I like to do past um exam question, all those previous exam questions like um all those yang tahun-tahun lepas punya I thank my teachers for that for giving me chances to answer and to try out all the questions sebab kalau if you don't get it um, I think sekarang dah banyak in bookstores jual past exam punya previous exam punya questions so you need to do a lot of questions a lot of exam questions so that you can recognize you can know how the question will be so bila you tahu that question or you know which one to target you know which one to answer how to answer that 
And for me, memorizing only doesn't work, but you need to know how the process goes, how the formula is. So, like for example, at maths, favorite subject, dulu, not now. I cannot do maths anymore now. I do a lot of previous um, exam question, like trillions of them, a lot of exam question, previous exam question, so many, and do a lot of questions lah, re revise, you ulang gaji, banyak, 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 and up, masa tu SPM ke, PMR ke, PT, oh, PMR tak ada, uh, PT3 ke, whatever, you will find out yang the questions too is just the same, it's just the numbers or the sequence of it, yang lain, yang, others are just the same, so you can answer it. And the last thing is to ask, ask a lot, if you tak faham, you ask, don't be shy. I used to be that shy, shy kind of person. Yeah, I tak nak pergi tanya cikgu pun. What's wrong with my... Kenapa cikgu buat ni salah? Blah, blah, blah. To be honest, where to God, I sit beside my BM teacher. My BM teacher, bahasa Melayu. <laughs> my mother tongue. <laughs> beside my BM teacher. And learn bahasa Melayu. So that's why sometimes my bahasa Melayu turns out to be so... Melayu-ish Sebab I tak tahu the Word pasal Whatever I'll be like more schematic sometimes So I I sit beside my VM teacher Or my sejarah teacher Or my maths teacher I like doing I don't know During high school I just feel Fun And I I really like studying with My teacher studying personally with your teacher if you don't understand you go to your teacher or you go to your friends you tanya your friends and don't be ashamed and if you rasa tak selesa if you think your friends are trying to brag every time you go to them to try to show off and you don't feel right you go to someone else you just go to someone else don't be ashamed of asking why you're wrong and stuff yeah I think that's all. I think it's 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 actually on you also. The thing is, you know what to prioritize, how to set your goals. That's the most important thing, these two things. If you don't know what your goals are and you don't know how to prioritize things, your your time will be all messed up and you don't know which one to focus first. And you don't know what your uh, study skills are, so you just jumble up everything and end up messed up and end up not giving a shot in anything so i hope this helps you and i hope it helps myself because it's hard also to find study ways study tips in new still lives because i can say that i am still having those lazy days which i don't know how to study i don't know how to achieve something and whatever but the best thing i think is just to always set your goals first to always remember your goals always remember your goals and get straight a's yeah if but if you don't achieve that goal don't be so devastated and don't be crying golek golek 24 hours and doing nothing about it Work on it. We just work on it. Everyone feels. I feel. I feel a lot. And you don't know. And don't, don't say I don't feel. I feel a lot also. So just learn from your mistakes. And move on. Keep on going. And inshallah you'll achieve your goals. So I guess that's all. And if you have anything. If I have something wrong. Just comment down below, correct me, or if you if you want to ask me anything more, just comment me or DM me in my Instagram. Um, I'm sorry if I didn't reply some of it because, you know, I, I don't really open my Instagram inbox often. Uh, all the best to everyone and study well, study hard, study smart. Uh, all the best and I hope you achieve a good grades in your studies and good luck thank you for watching